Hello and welcome back to the channel. In um, this video I will be talking about a problem that has occurred while trying to render the planetary rings around the planet Saturn. As you can see here, the rim of the planet appears in front of the rings and this creates a visual problem that's not very nice to look at. This occurs because in the rendering of transparent objects it's necessary to blend uh, each object with what is behind it so there has to be an order in which these uh, transparent objects are, are rendered otherwise when one object will be rendered there will be nothing behind it to to blend with and you can see it occurring here the rings are blending with the uh, outer shell of the atmosphere but there it doesn't appear that we can see the rest of the planet here and here if we zoom closely we can see that the rim appears in front of the rings it's not like the ring is being blended with the uh, with the rim it's actually whenever the wherever the rim is it's being it's replacing the pixels that uh, the ring should have been using and we can change the situation a little bit by a changing the priority of the rings uh, of the ring material here you can we have chosen minus one this means that this is uh, um, rendered one position before transparent objects are rendered if we set this to zero the situation changes but we replace one problem with the other if we look here uh, it's also not appearing correctly so this problem happens because the mesh used to represent the planetary rings uh, around the planet is a single object. So it cannot be simultaneously in front and in the back. Unity needs to uh, place it either in front or in the back, depending on the depth of the object. But since the, the ring encompasses the planet, uh, it must make a decision. So depending on the priority you assign to the material, it will either appear in front or in the back with the problems that we have seen. One way to address this problem consists in uh, splitting the mesh into a front part and into a back part. And this is what we are going to do. So here is how I created a half ring uh, mesh in Blender. Uh, you can do that quite easily by adding first a circle uh, to the scene like so uh, just uh, increase the number of vertices for example to something that's more uh, useful than thir than just 32 vertices maybe i don't know like 128 so that it's more detailed and circle like uh, this could be our um, inner ring and then we need we add another circle uh, to the scene increase the radius maybe it's important that they have the same number of vertices once you have the two circles in the scene you need to join them together by selecting them both and pressing ctrl j this will make them become a single object now if you go to edit mode you can um, select all the vertices together and you need to join all the vertices with the corresponding vertices in the in the other ring so that's why it's important to have them have the same number of vertices you can do that quite easily by just calling the uh, bridge edge loop command which is this one you just press f3 if you don't remember the shortcut and press bridge edge loops and it will create a phases for you next uh, if you want to overcome the transparency problem that i've been showing in the video you need to remove uh, half of the ring can simply select the faces that you don't need and press X then delete faces and so you have half your ring the next step consists in unwrapping the mesh and this depends on how the texture you're using for the rings looks like in my case uh, the texture represents a slice of the ring uh, as you can see on the leftmost side uh, that would represent the innermost part of the ring and on the rightmost part we, you should see the um, the outer part of the ring therefore this pattern must be repeated on each face of the mesh in order to get the effect that we want so you can do so by then selecting everything and UV follow uh, active quotes and you will see that they all have appeared uh, in the UV editor but that's not quite what we need because they all need to be within this uh, this area here so in order to do so maybe you can uh, press pack island 
and they will be only be they will all appear one next to each other uh, of course we want to make use of the full space that that's uh, available here and therefore we need to scale them so that they fill the rest of the texture now again i am not an expert in blender and every time <laughs> i not using blender for uh, more than 24 hours i completely forget uh, how the user interface works and um, therefore there must be some easier way to do this but um, one one way that i know uh, of is to press this comment here constraint to image bounds so this will make it so that when we scale it in the y direction uh, they don't go farther than the space available of course yeah you, as you can see we need to change the focus point from which the um, from which the, the scaling occurs and if you select 2d cursor it should be possible for you to scale it from the 2d cursors which is in the bottom left i'm sure there is uh, hopefully there's a better way than actually having to scroll your mouse all the way to the top but you get the idea and of course since we have now selected that uh, that command it will not let us uh, go beyond the boundaries of the uh, of the texture one step that mm, is left to do is to rotate the texture d this depends on uh, on how your texture is laid out in my case i needed to rotate the, uh, the texture and you can do so again by switching the focus and then pressing r and then if you hold control you can constrain the rotation uh, and then release them and press again the mouse button just make sure that you have selected 90 degrees and after doing so your mesh will be ready uh, so you can export it um, as an fbx maybe the only thing you need here is the mesh and, and make sure that you apply the transform in case you have uh, modified it the object in any way so this is what i've done you can see the ring is correctly appearing in front of the planet and the back part of the ring is appearing behind it and even close uh, uh, close by it looks much better than before there's no rim lighting being superimposed over the over the ring uh, as you can see from the scene view now the ring is being has been split into two parts and you can improve the effect even further if you assigned maybe uh, two different priorities to the material so if uh, if you assign a priority of zero to the material that goes uh, on the part that is rendered in, uh, closer to the camera and a priority of minus one to the material that has uh, that is being rendered in the back still this depends on where the camera is in the 3d scene so of course if you are in a situation like this uh, it would be better if you were to create an algorithm that rotates the the ring to the correct position so that the back uh, part of the ring always is, uh, is al uh, appears always farther from the camera well that was it for this video i hope it can be of some use for those who like me were trying to render transparent planetary rings around the planet and didn't quite know how to solve the rendering issues that occurred if you know of any more advanced or better solution to this problem please do write in the comment below i'm always interested in learning about uh, new up and other types of approach to this problem thank you for watching and uh, see you next time